Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I have an unboxing to do. Um, all this stuff was in a uh, another box, but I didn't see the uh, the part about opening it on camera until after I got into the inside and I got all the uh, the notes here. Um, <laughs> very specific instructions. So anyway, new Browse Blade that I'm going to be uh, reviewing soon. This is one that uh, you guys have not seen yet. Super cool. But anyway, um, yeah, so let's read the instructions here. First, I can read this on camera. This one says random slip joint uh, I found I have no use for. I thought you might enjoy it. This says open last, and this says open after letter. So what I'll do is I'll open the letter, then that, then this, then that. Sound good? All right, so letter first. Dear Jeff, I want to start off by saying thank you uh, for all the hard work and time you put in, in making videos. <clears throat> uh, I've gotten countless hours of enjoyment from them, along with lots of information about knives. Um, inside I included a couple things that I hope you enjoy. The Gonzo box uh, does have a knife in it, but it's not the knife you may think it is. Uh, the knife was never used much by me, uh, as I have uh, so many other knives I prefer to carry. I'm hoping you can do a review of this knife after you use it some. Thanks again for the great videos. I hope you, uh, excuse me, I hope all is well. And please give my best wishes to Christina and Gus. Sincerely, Matt. So, thank you very much, Matt. I, I mean, I really appreciate that. Um, everyone is doing well. We're all very busy, but I suppose busy is good, right? So, okay, let's do this. Open after letter. All right, so we got a little bit of tape on here. And I think that's it. Oh, it's heavy, it's in that. Well, there's a couple things in here. Okay. If you like some coins. Oh, no way. That, my friend, is a silver dime. You can tell just by looking at it quickly, but let's look at that. 1964. Super cool. This is, it's actually, this excites me so much. You guys really have no idea. Like, I'm, I'm honestly keeping my composure here on, uh, on camera, but I am super stoked. I will uh, literally stare at this stuff for like, you know, an hour after the video's uh, off. Got a couple quarters here. So friggin' cool. Yeah, 1940 on the right, 1957 on the left. And it looks like there's some more uh, coins in here. Wow, that's awesome. Let's see. Wow. Another quarter. Zoom in. 1964. And then we have a half. 1942, beautiful, just beautiful coins. You know, it's such a shame that we just don't have silver currency anymore in America. You know what I mean? This these really is just a beautiful coin. What's really just extra special about older coins, particularly silver because people collect them, um, but just how how cool they are when they're really worn. You know what I mean? When you get like the 1800s, um, you know, coins and stuff like that, just, just super cool. I mean, this alone, was really really special and I mean that means a lot to me so right off the bat thank you so much for that that was super super cool of you um, all right so random slip joint check this out right quick cool nice let's check it out see if we got a maker's mark on here Let's see. Nope, no markings. But it's still pretty cool. I like it. It's got a little pen blade in there. And it's got a little spade blade. Very cool. I love random knives. You know, and believe it or not, this is something that I'll, I'll EDC for a day or two, you know? Okay, you can see the shield on there. But, you know, no markings or anything. Still very cool, though. Appreciate that. And, lastly... We have this box now. This is a, it's a Gonzo box, but he said it's not a Gonzo knife in there. So, really interested in seeing what's going on in here. Speaking of Gonzo, I did have, I do have a new model that you guys will see in the future that I had another viewer send. So I'm very excited about that. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> 
I'm excited. More tape? No, I don't think so. Okay. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. And a bag. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Ooh, ooh, sweet. Now, some of you guys, I know the knife guys out there already know what this is. This is a uh, SOG model that I actually do not have. And that was a total fail. My God, I gotta do that again with that flipper. Wow, I'm surprised. That thing does not want to shoot. I guess a little, little wrist action might help. But uh, yeah, I have not had this model before. Super cool. Let's take a look at that blade. Nice and shiny too. There we go. VG10, Sanmai, the SOG Vulcan. Wow, really interesting. I, you know, I, I, when I first saw this, I liked the design, and uh, it was on my very, very long list of dozens and dozens of knives that I wanted to eventually trade for, but I just never got around doing so. So, dude, this was super, super cool. Of you really appreciate it. I got to work on that, uh, that flip there. I, feel, I mean, you can see it's just a tiny little flipper there, and if I kind of push in, like if you put pressure upwards. You know, so you're pushing in without flipping it and then flip down. Usually you get a little bit more speed there, a little more action, but this one definitely needs a little bit of wrist to pop that out. Um, super cool though. Really like that. Of course, you don't have to use the, uh, the flipper at all if you don't want to. And it's got studs, so you can always use the thumb studs to flick it out. But, uh, wow. Very cool design. So you guys will definitely see uh, a review of this in the future. Matt, I, I mean, I really, really appreciate this. This was completely above and beyond. Um, you know, I don't know what to say. The, the knife is awesome. The silver is super, super cool. And, you know, and even this will get some use. God bless you, Gus. God bless you. Let's take a look at Gus over here. Sneezing. You okay? He's like, it is late, dude. Why are you still up? All right? You sneezing? You say hi to Matt? You say thank you, Matt. That was pretty cool. Give my daddy that stuff. All right, we're gonna get you a treat, <laughs> just because you're being awesome and super cute, Matt. Thank you so much again. I mean, I really, really appreciate it. It was awesome of you. You guys will definitely see a review of this in the near future, as well as the uh, the browse. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.